Hey, sports fans, it was a perfect week for Philly sports. All four teams won. Let's start with the Philadelphia Stars advancing to the USFL Finals. The Philadelphia Stars, who lost to the Generals twice in the regular season, pulled off a stunner, earning a 19-14 victory. Philadelphia marched down the field in a hurry on the opening possession, ending with a Luis Aguilar field goal to give the Stars the first lead of the game. Mozzie Wilkins gave Philadelphia the ball with a huge interception in the second quarter. Wilkins caught the ball on the Stars' four-yard line and ended up on New Jersey's 13. A couple of plays later, Case Cook has extended the lead to 10 to nothing with an eight-yard touchdown run for the final score of the first half. On fourth down, New Jersey got on the board when Darius Victor punched it in for a one-yard touchdown. The score cut the Stars' lead to 10-7. With 10.46 to play, Cavante Turpin returned a punt 79 yards for a touchdown and a 14-10 lead for the Generals. Maurice Alexander Jr. gave the Stars the lead back 19-15 with a minute 41 remaining on an 88-yard punt return. Philadelphia hung on for the win as an intercession by Stars' Armani Dennis ended the game. Final score, Stars 19, Generals 14. Good luck to the Philadelphia Stars in the USFL Finals, and let's bring home the trophy! The Union's Corey Burke scored a dramatic tie-breaking goal in the 96th minute, as the host Philadelphia Union survived blowing a late lead and moved into first place in the Eastern Conference with a 2-1 victory over New York City FC. Mikhail Yore opened the scoring when he got a long cross from Alejandro Bedoya, slipped past NYC FC defender Maxime Chenat, and sent a left-footed shot from the center of the box into the back of the net. After putting Philadelphia ahead, Yore nearly scored seven minutes later, but New York goalie Sean Johnson stopped his right-footed shot from close range. Johnson also denied a header from Jack Elliott in the 18th minute and then stopped Julian Kawanza's attempt in the 30th. Burke was credited with the game winner when he used his left foot to deflect a launch shot by Jose Martinez past NYC FC goalkeeper Sean Johnson. Burke was initially believed to be offsides, but Video Review credited the defender with his fourth goal of the season. Final score? Union 2, New York City Football Club 1. Good luck to the Philadelphia Union in their next match against the Chicago Fire on Wednesday. Phillies Kyle Schwaber hit a go-ahead 3-1 home run in the 7th inning, and the Philadelphia Phillies rallied to beat the San Diego Padres 8-5 on Sunday, a day after losing NL MVP Bryce Harper indefinitely with a broken left thumb. San Diego leadoff battle Jerickson Profar walked in the first and scored on Eric Hosmer's ground out. San Diego went ahead 5-2 in the third on 2-1 doubles by Austin Nola and rookie C.J. Abrams that knocked out Kyle Gibson. The right-hander allowed three hits, two walks, and hit a batter that inning. Overall, Gibson allowed five runs and four hits, walked three, and struck out two in two and two-third innings his shortest outing this season. San Diego's Hugh Darvish left with a 5-3 lead after striking out a season-high 9-6 in innings, but reliever Nabil Krizmak couldn't hold it after getting into trouble opening the 7th. Bryson Stott walked, Matt Veerling singled, and Schwaber, the leadoff batter, drove a 2-1 pitch into the left field seats for the lead. It was his 21st. Gareth Stubbs singled in an insurance run for the Phillies in the 8th, after striking out in his first three at-bats, Matt Veerling scored on a wild pitch in the ninth. Final score, Phillies 8, Padres 5. Good luck to the Philadelphia Phillies in their next game against the Atlanta Braves on Wednesday. Dalton Guthrie tuned in another big game at the plate on Sunday afternoon as he went 4-for-5 with two home runs and four RBIs to lead the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs to a 10-4 win over the Norfolk Tides. 
The Tides jumped out to an early 2-0 lead against Ricardo Sanchez in the top of the first inning, as he hit a 2-1 home run that scored Jordan Westberg. Norfolk scored two more runs against Sanchez in the top of the second inning to take a 4-0 lead. Donnie Sands and his return to the Iron Pigs hit a 2-1 single against D.L. Hall in the bottom of the third inning that cut Norfolk's lead to 4-2. The Pigs broke open the game with seven runs against Hall and Cameron Bishop in the bottom of the fourth inning to take a 9-4 lead. Guthrie hit a 2-1 home run that scored Scott Kingley. Derek Hall hit an RBI double that scored Drew Maggie, and Dustin Peterson hit a 3-1 home run that scored Sands and Hall. Guthrie homered again in the bottom of the seventh inning against Ryan Conroy that extended Lehigh Valley's lead to 10-4. Guthrie now has four home runs on the season. Final score, Iron Pigs 10, Tides 4. Good luck to the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs in their next game against the Syracuse Mets on Wednesday. This week in sports history has returned. On June 27, 1899, Wimbledon women's tennis, Blanche Bingley Hilliard beat Charlotte Cooper 6-2, 6-3. June 28, 1892, Billy's tie a club record of 16 straight victories. June 29, 1950, striker Joe Gadgins heads U.S. to an upset, one near win over England in a FIFA World Cup group match in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. Americans next win over England, 1994. June 30, 1908, at 41 years, three months, future Baseball Hall of Fame pitcher Cy Young becomes oldest player to record a third career no-hitter as Boston Red Sox beat New York Highlanders 8-0. July 1st, 1982, Cal Ripken Jr. makes the first of his record, 2,216 consecutive MLB starts at shortstop for the Baltimore Orioles. July 2nd, 1933, New York Giants pitcher Carl Hubble works 18 innings of shutout ball without a walk to beat St. Louis Cardinals 1-0. July 3rd, 1970, Wimbledon Women's Tennis, Margaret Court beats Billie Jean King, 14-12, 11-9 for her third and final Wimbledon singles title and third leg of her successful Grand Slam. I'll have more sports history fun facts next week. Which Phillies pitcher threw a no-hitter and hit two home runs in the same game? The answer, Wick Wise on June 23, 1971 against the Reds. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Let's Talk Sports.